I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Callum, I just met you two days ago. What a way to introduce yourself to me. I've never yeah. seen you fight before. Sure. And left take to the body. Yeah. Good night, man. Just speak to me about that stoppage. Uh, it's stuff of dreams, to be honest. Uh, literally, it's a shot that we work on every session. That's like my main shot. Uh, so to pull it off my debut, second round. Know, just there. honestly, stuff of dreams. I couldn't have wished it up any better, to be honest. Well, that's the thing. You, you had a great support out there. So to give them something to cheer about and to give them something to go home to and talk about is obviously that, that a stoppage win for in your, on your debut, it can't get any better than that, but the fight itself, man, just talk to me about the, the difference between that sort of transition from the amateurs to the pros, the ring walk, the crowd, the small gloves, uh, everything that goes with it, man, how did you find it all? Uh, I love it, to be honest. Like, the difference is, it's quite it's quite different, but I've always sort of known that's what it's going to be like. Um, the styles are obviously a lot different, he was moving a lot. My legs fell a bit. I think it was more because of the, the occasion than anything else. My legs felt a bit fatigued at the end of the first round, but then uh, just kept creeping in, creeping in, and then just got, got the signature shot off, really. That's it. Is that the signature shot, though, Carl? Because I asked you, are you known as a body puncher? And you said, I've never really stopped anyone. So is that going to be your signature shot from now on in the pro rank? Just everybody watch out for that left hook to the body. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's I've never stopped anyone in the amateurs with it, but like it's just my signature shot. Like In the gym every week, Like I'm, I'm using it, you know, I work on it every week. And uh, Alex will tell you through the body party he feels it, uh, nearly chucks his dinner up sometimes. But uh, yeah, it's just good to actually get it off because we've worked on it a lot. And setting it up has been the main, the main thing and I got it off well there, so wasn't. When, when I was sitting right behind it when you threw it and I was looking at it and it didn't seem like you threw it with any anger or any sort of aggression behind it. It just felt smooth when you landed it. Were you half as shocked when you, you did throw it and he went down with the, obviously, agony and in pain? Yeah, well, um, warming up, I was thinking, fuck, like, these, like, Feels feels great on your hand, so I knew that it didn't take a lot for the punch to get through. But I'm naturally left-handed, so although I'm an orthodox, I'm left-handed. So I, I, I just I didn't put every like you see, I didn't put everything behind it. But um, it's just a, I think I've got the natural shoulder strength for being left-handed, so yeah, that, came that, off. That could be the answer there. Yeah. Um, obviously, we spoke about being super middleweight. You're coming down to middleweight now. Looking at you, you're, you're 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 a big man. I think middleweight, you'll be huge at middleweight. Is that sort of like the goal going forward? Um, I mean, I spoke about with Jamie, and obviously this weekend was this weekend was um, 168. Um, we had no no like set plans in place to move weight, but I think how easy I did 168, yes, well 169. How easy I did it yesterday, I feel like middleweight could definitely be in the future. Yeah. Obviously, we want to know when this man's out because I think I want to see that left hook to the body again. I think many people do. So, Jamie Sheldon here, if I can get you both in a wee bit closer. Come on, you, 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 you're a friend. Get, get in a wee bit closer there. Yeah, just before I talk about when he's out next and what's going, the plan's going forward, Jamie, just talk to me about that shot in the second round there. Class, mate. Class, mate. You can see him clipping weight in first um, and it was getting through. And it, 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 was, it was like he had a target on it. He couldn't miss weight. Could not miss weight, mate. And once you could see the kid wins from the first one, for it's gonna, it's gonna come, it's gonna come. And he just took his time. He didn't rush it. That was my biggest concern. We've been his debut. He was gonna rush, mother his work, but he didn't. He stayed composed, picked his shots, and I didn't see it. Actually, I didn't yeah. see it there the in the first, first round. I didn't see it like bother him. So I thought, just keep chipping away. And then, like you say, the one, the one that landed, that stopped him. I didn't put a lot. Like I didn't try and stop him with it, but it just. Timing and position beats power and speed. Yeah, yeah. Timing and position beats power and speed. So no pressure on you being like the the man to guide his career, Jamie. No pressure on you. But how do you match somebody with sort of like a good amateur background? Obviously a spectacular win over that. You're going to have to find an opponent that's going to take him the rounds. It's all right blowing them out so early on, but again, young guy coming at the pro ranks, he needs to get them rounds. So how difficult is your job right now? Um, we'll have to wait and see. I just hope a lot of opponents didn't work that body shot. That's <laughs> that's the only thing. But the thing is, he, he this is the type of kid that's going to need fights. Yeah. He's not going to, these kids that get blown over in one shot, they're going to be no good for him. Um, so what we'll do, we'll, we'll let him have a week off, we'll sit back down, talk, find out what he wants, and then we'll get shopping for another one. Um, Super, sorry Jim, I cut you off. Please. No, so like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll shop for another one, like I said, preferably something that's going to come and have a go. Well, like I said, we don't want these kids that's going to get bowled over and things like that. Uh, and, and we'll try something different, so we might have a lad that's going to be so progressive next time and see how he deals with that. And just develop him. Take his time, develop, and, and see where we end up. We spoke about super middleweight. You, 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 you mentioned it to me. A middleweight. You, you seem confident to go down to middleweight. I mean, he'll be a big middleweight if he does. And 
if he carries that power down there, he's going to be a force. Hundred um, percent. He said from day one, he said I could probably do that for for championship weight for right fives. So like I said, let's get a couple of these under his belt, get a bit of experience behind him, and if we want to try it at that, and he feels good because he's made this way easy. He's, he's, he's been so professional for his first professional bout, he's, he's, he's done it back on. Um, and let's see where we end up with it. Um, like if, if he feels strong enough and he can carry his strength around, he will be a big kid at that weight. Let him have a go. When will he be out next then, Jimmy? Uh, he's going to say as soon as possible. So it's a case of just shop about, see what's happening up in North East. Uh, if we have to take him on an away day somewhere. We're looking at there's definitely one coming up in July. He'll be out on that, but I want to get him out before, um, if possible. Whether that's away from here or, or not, we've, we've just got to um, do his homework and see what we can find for him. One final word from you then, Callum, just speak to me about that support out there. Tremendous. I mean, look, it all came up from Durham. I think Durham yeah, Town yeah. Centre is empty right now on a <laughs> Saturday night. So, yeah, to talk to me about that support. Yeah, uh, unreal. Like I say, I knew I'd have a good support, but I didn't think it would quite be that good. Like, obviously, you look around and the arena's full, and it seems like most of it was for me there, so it was a bit surreal. So, Definitely. very good. Well, listen, go and enjoy the rest of your night. Go and enjoy the, uh, the night with your fans. And, Jamie, always a pleasure seeing you, big man. Thanks for everything. And, Callum, first of many, my man. Steve, cheers. Thank you. I'm going to share something with you that might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. <laughs> See if someone grabbed up my wife and saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.